weather. But have we come to the point where we can control the weather? Technically, that's still too good to be true, but the winds might be changing. Let's talk about cloud seeding. It's described as the enhancement of natural precipitation. To explain how cloud seeding works, we need to first talk about clouds. Clouds are a bunch of water droplets or ice crystals floating in the sky. The water droplets are too small to fall as precipitation, but they are large enough to form the clouds we see. So cloud seeding can produce what we want more or less of, more snow, more rain, or smaller hail pellets. This is done by introducing a seeding agent through pyrotechnic flares attached to an aircraft. Think rolling candles with a mission. A mission to deliver those condensation nuclei that encourage more collisions. Common seeding agents used are dry ice, the solid of carbon dioxide, silver dioxide, or simple solids like sodium chloride. Seeding agents act as additional ice nuclei. In the case of silver iodide, its structure is very similar to ice. Hexagonal, which is why experts think ice wants to bond to it. When silver iodide is used in a cloud, water droplets begin to give up water vapor and shrink. At the same time, the ice crystals already present in the cloud collect this moisture and grow. As ice crystals bang into other ice crystals, they begin is to increase snow production. This year marks the worst drought America has seen in decades, and it's showing no signs of letting up. Over half the country has been affected, with the brunt bearing down on the mid and west, especially Nebraska, Kansas, the Dakotas, and parts of the south. Just look at that. Well, in one hard-hit area of Texas, some people have grown tired of waiting for Mother Nature to bring relief and have decided to try and take matters into their own hands. Here's ABC's Juju Chang. Craig Funky is flying me to the edge of a violent thunderstorm. You see how nice and crisp the top of that cloud is up there? Yeah. So. But the former commercial pilot isn't some adrenaline junkie courting danger. He's a cloud seeder, chasing this menacing storm to squeeze out extra rain for the drought-stricken farmland below. As a pilot going through school, you're taught to avoid thunderstorms. This is Craig's job, firing chemicals into the clouds in a controversial attempt to modify the weather. He's literally a rain. Cloud seeding has been used around the world for decades, but it's now getting a closer look as farmers desperate for solutions endure their fourth month of record shattering drought with no end in sight. It's actually the largest drought in half a century, responsible for rising food prices and record wildfires. It's even suspected to be a cause for the recent surge in cases of West Nile virus. So we came to South Texas to find out if cloud seeding can really maximize our most precious resource, or if it's just a romantic notion that doesn't hold water. We can't manufacture a cloud. That is just absolute basic. We, we cannot make it rain if it was not going to rain to begin with. Tommy Shearer is president of the Texas Weather Modification Association. He's quick to explain that he can only enhance the weather, not create it. If you look at the cloud as a factory, we're inducing a lot of raw material into the factory so that the factory becomes more efficient. And more productive. Consequently more productive. His team of pilots and meteorologists are constantly scanning the skies for the right clouds to see. Well, everybody's going to get some good rain. After yeah. our data collected today adds to a growing body of evidence that cloud seeding works. It can double the amount of moisture in a given cloud, and the Texas programs boast a 12% increase in annual rainfall, thanks to seeding. And long-term studies show those chemicals are environmentally safe and can't even be detected in the rainfall. 
But despite all the data, some of cloud seeding's biggest critics are surprisingly the very farmers who stand to benefit most. This isn't the first drought we've been through, and it won't be the last. Bill's take of the cloud seeding program. Well, when you've been in a drought since 96 and we've had one wet year, is it working? We can't stop droughts, we can't break droughts. Uh, we just try and put a little more water on the ground. And if Tommy Shearer brushes off critics who say he's playing God. His ideas may be bold, but he says he never loses sight of who's really in charge. You're not going to beat Mother Nature. Let's just understand that right off. We work with Mother Nature. We try to help Mother Nature. Pick your battles. I wouldn't even fight my own mother. 